I'm back! Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I am dyeing my hair. Don't even, don't even, don't even, okay? Because at this point, bleach my hair, yes. Dye my hair, yes. Burn my hair, yes. If you have clicked on this video because you want to know what the product in the title of this video actually looks like, there will be important timestamps that you should refer to. Um, what is the product? How much of it do you need? How long does it take to fade off? What does it look like after a couple of weeks? Um, what the final product looks like when my hair is this level of blonde? Um, and all of that stuff. Important timestamps. Please refer to that. For the other babies here watching me, um, we will be talking about... Uh, so we are... But I kind of want a baby. It doesn't matter if it has two legs or four legs. I just want a baby. So the product I'm using today is from this brand called Streaks. Uh, it's from their hold and play range. The shade in particular that I'm using today is called Wonder Blue, which is a dark blue of sorts. This particular range also has many, many other colors. One of which I have tried. It's called Crazy Violet. It's like this very rich, nice violet color. I also have a video dyeing my hair this color. I will link it down below. But if you're lazy, I will pop a picture right here to show you what this purple slash violet-ish color looks like. They also have pink, light green, dark green, red, and uh, I think one more color that I am missing. For those of you trying this product for the very first time, let me tell you, this comes in a tube kind of a format. It's not like your old school hair color that has like million packets that you need to add together and then you get your final hair color. Nothing doing, totally mess free. It comes in this one tube format. You don't have to add it to anything. Just empty it out in a bowl like I have and this particular color looks very dark and just apply it to your hair that's it the gloves are on there's no turning back now and i know the lighting in this video might be turning off a few people because it's really dim um don't worry i will show you the end product in natural sunlight and another tube light before the video ends don't worry refer to the timestamps but the reason why we have dim lighting in this video is because i'm feeling extra insecure about my skin today honestly my skin ooh, ooh, dark color i'm excited to see how this turns out because i have not seen my hair dark in so long it's just been light colored i was on call with trisha yesterday and she was like i've forgotten what you look like with black hair or like dark hair so i'm excited for how this one will turn out because i know this will be like a dark color can you see how rich and vibrant this looks, you can't because the lighting is this. Going back to the lighting point, the reason why the lighting is a little dim in this video is because I'm feeling extra insecure about my uh, about my skin today. My skin was honestly doing really, really well up until like last week, but then I just randomly got really, really sad and then I decided it would be a great idea to order a 1kg red velvet and finish it in one day. I was really hoping to hit 10k this year and uh, honestly, two months ago, it really looked like I would. And I still am pretty hopeful. Like, there's still 20 days left in the month. Like, anything could happen. We don't know. But uh, yeah, earlier this year, I was gaining like 400, 500 subscribers in a month. And that was insane. But now that's slowed down a little bit. Um, I'm still, I think, 250, 260 subscribers away from... 10k which i don't know how that's gonna happen it'll be really cool to see if we as a family can hit that uh, goal before the year ends and even if we can't you know it's okay it's fine i'm really happy with all of the opportunities that have come my way this year because of you guys there's this very weird thing that's been happening with me lately like i get off work at about six ish and uh, i just start feeling insanely sleepy at six and uh, usually i'm like okay no today i'm gonna film something i have a lot of ideas planned i had a lot of ideas planned for december let's just hope and pray that i can execute it but yeah every day i get off work i'm like today is the day i'm gonna film a video today is the day i'm gonna film a video and i tell myself all right girl you go you take a 40 minute or one hour long nap you wake up at seven get refreshed take a shower and then start filming but then no matter how many alarms I set, no matter how many people I tell to wake me up, I end up waking up at 11. And it's not just a one day thing that's been happening with me. I have literally been sleeping for three, four hours for the past two weeks after my shift. Like every day at six, 
I shut off my work laptop and I just go to sleep and I sleep for three hours and um, that's not where the problem stops you know the main issue is just that I can't film obviously that and then when I wake up at like 10 or 11 after having my two three four hour nap I stay up till five or six in the morning and then I start work at 10 after like maybe one one and a half hours of sleep and then again I'm sleepy at six okay now I see where the problem lies that's why I say you guys are like therapy for me you know like making videos talking about my issues like it just it just is definitely therapy and it a lot of the times makes me arrive at solutions that would make my life better so thank you for helping me in ways that you guys don't even know you're helping me in i really want to know how you guys are doing now that um, the lockdown's lifted and things are opening up and people are a lot more um open to going outside which i still am not but i'm not completely against the idea i don't mind maybe stepping out to horse cast market to buy essential stuff and all of that i'm really not at that level where i can maybe go to you know a public market yet but i do have a place in mind that i really want to visit before the year ends and maybe i will i just really need to mentally prepare myself <gasps> look at look at how rich and nice this color has turned out as oh my god i cannot wait to see what it'll look like when it'll you know be out of my hair and all dried up i've said that five million times anyway yeah what i was saying tell me how you guys are doing like i really want to know you know what's up in life how's online school going because i know a lot of y'all do online schooling and stuff like that so let me know how that's going let me know what your plans are for 2021 because uh, it's almost gonna end i can't believe this year is literally about to end like where the did it even go like it makes no sense there's some very 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 interesting stuff that's coming up it's gonna be revealed on the first of january so i'm really excited to share that with you guys i don't know what your reaction to that would be but i know that a lot of you have talked about this with me and uh, you guys would like to watch that or if i may say hear that a lot of people dm me and comment on my videos hair coloring videos and ask me how much of um this product would they need to cover medium length hair so my hair is medium length i feel like and i usually only use 75 percent of one tube for the amount of hair that you saw like the bleached part if i were to do it from the roots to the tips honestly i don't know how much it would take but honestly i think one tube should be more than enough if you're trying to do like a dip dye kind of style if you're doing like a roots to tip maybe just buy one more these are very very cheap these are like 350 bucks or 340 bucks one thing that i forgot to mention is this that if i need one tube to cover whatever amount of hair i need i always buy one extra tube because the thing is this is like a semi-permanent hair dye meaning it washes off very very quickly um and uh, it's not fun if you're spending all that money and it just washes off after a few washes so i always buy one extra tube just to touch up the areas where it starts to fade and uh, honestly for touch-ups you would need maybe like one tenth of the tube so that tube in itself the touch up color tube will last you at least two months so that means you have this color in your hair for a good three months and i think that's a great deal i don't know what is wrong with me but i have just turned into such a cry baby i cry about everything which if i'm being very honest comes as an absolute shock to me because i'm a hard ass tough ass girl i don't think anyone on this planet can claim to have seen me crying during 2013 to 2016 i don't think anyone can like not like i was not going through shit like obviously on and off shit happens but uh, i would never ever cry in front of every anyone or for small things um which obviously like i'm not trying to boast about it um letting out your emotions is a healthy thing and you should do that if you are also a crybaby like me don't feel bad about it but i'm just feeling really like like sh surprised because i was not like that and i was just always so tough and nice and now everything just makes me cry it's so weird like k-dramas make me cry books 
that I've been reading and I've been reading a lot of like emotional kind of books. They make me cry and I cry in front of people and I cry on calls and I just cry all the time. I don't know what it is. Like, is it like hormonal shit? Cause I'm in my 20s now. I'm gonna be 23 in February. Like, what is it? What is it? Is it the pandemic? I don't think it's the pandemic because this crying shit has gradually started since I would say last year. Like I, fuck, I hate it. I hate it. I really don't like it. Last week, I was dabbling with the idea of going on a vacation. I know, crazy. This bitch can't even go to Hoskas market without wearing like four masks and coming back and boiling myself in water. But yeah, I was really contemplating if there is a place in India that I can maybe go to, book a hotel. Um, and don't get me wrong, like I was not gonna go and put my Dora the Explorer cap on and just start exploring the city, absolutely not. My plan was to just pick a place. I had Shimla in mind or Sikkim or Shillong. Um, book a nice hotel with nice Wi-Fi so I can also work on you know, my 9 to 5 job um, and just sit in the hotel, order room service and relax and have fun and just look out of the window and that's why I wanted to go to like a scenic kind of place um, and I was just like, should I do this, should I not? Is there a place that you guys know of, you guys have travelled to which I will, I will scold you if you tell me you have travelled during the pandemic um, but if you live at a place, like if you live in Masuri or if you live in Shillong and if you know that the numbers are less in that state and uh, there's like some nice hotels or like, you know, some nice place that I can just book and go to and just relax and sit at, let me know, let me know. Even though that is also one idea that I was talking to my sister about and the conclusion that we arrived at was that if in their state there are numbers, hain, like they have less Covid cases in their state, why should we ever like travel there and you know put them at risk if they have sort of adhered to all the safety precautions and taken care and as a society as a community as a state have you know conquered covid and have less numbers why should we go and disturb that like and that is a very valid point that my sister made and that makes sense so most likely i'm not gonna go anywhere but just to toy with the idea that like I'm rich now and I can go to places, I can book hotels. Let me know if there's like Aspas may some place that I can go to. You know what? I've decided that in 2021, even though I don't believe in going and paying people for like anything other than like a normal haircut, like all this coloring shit, I, I think I can do at home. Even though I don't do a great job at it, but I feel like I save a lot of money. Um, but I have decided that in 2021, I am gonna go to a salon once and get this same shit done. And obviously I'm gonna vlog it for you guys. And then we, as a family, can decide whether or not I should do this or if I should go spend my money. Like obviously what they do will be better, but it's the price and it's the time and the effort of getting out of bed, getting out of my house, dressing up, going to a stranger, Communicating to them what I want on my head. Not crying when they're not able to deliver the same thing that I want, that I didn't communicate properly in the first place. Is it worth it? Last month, I had a very crazy dream, okay? I remembered the dream and then I told my mom about the dream in great detail just the next day. But right now, it's a bit fuzzy. But basically, I think I, I saw like an abandoned kid in my room and he was literally sitting on the bed and in my dream i entered my room and he was sitting on i don't know if it, it was a he or a she i don't know it was a baby like a literal toddler like maybe seven months eight months to one year one and a half years i really don't know but it was sitting on my room uh, in my on my bed very sweet kid okay and it was crying and i just felt so bad and then i just picked it up and i hugged it and then it stopped crying and then it became my baby and we lived happily ever after I think that was the dream. I remember it exactly. I told you. Any dream um, decipherers out there, let me know what this dream means. But basically, I saw this dream and I woke up wanting a baby. And I told my mom, listen, I really like, I want a baby. And obviously, she's like, shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just so weird. Like ever since I've had that dream, see, I've always had this 
urge in me to smother someone and like I've always had really nice maternal instincts I would feel like I've always been the mom of the group not that I've ever been in a group of friends for a long time but uh, yeah I've I've always wanted like I've always wanted a dog also it's so weird like I've just been wanting to mother a child and like you know take care of a baby and at the same time I've constantly also been thinking about how hard it is to raise a child because you know all of that responsibility of it growing up to be a responsible kid and like a good mannered ethical kid aware kid is on you and that's just so scary and it's so weird but I kind of want a baby it doesn't matter if it has two legs or four legs. I just want a baby. Getting back to the hair color, there's this one question that I get asked a lot. How long does this color stay on your hair? Um, to that, I have like a long answer. So hear me, it's row. Um, honestly, I don't know the difference between permanent hair color and semi-permanent hair color. Like, what is permanent hair color? It's not like you will have that color until the day you die, right? Like that doesn't make sense to me so for me every color is like semi-permanent and like it will wash off at one point of time but uh, this color in particular I will tell you does wash off quite quickly and quite fast from the first wash itself you will start seeing the color begin to fade off and uh, by I would say the fourth fourth wash like the color would be there obviously but it would be very light it would just be a very faded version of it i will pop a picture here of my purple hair uh, after i would say the fourth or fifth wash what it will fade into depends a lot on the level of blonde your hair is bleached before you apply the color if your hair is like platinum blonde this will this blue color will probably die down to um, a very light blue and like a beautiful pastel blue so make sure to like bleach your hair properly don't try to do it in like one day take gaps take care of your hair um, and also <clears throat> I feel like my hair looks very silky sometimes in videos um, but let me tell you the amount of torture that I have exposed my hair to it is not at all silky um it's definitely very very rough uh days when i wash my hair without oiling my hair or forget to put conditioner in after i'm done washing my hair it's a struggle my friend it's a struggle i think i already talked about this but like my skin was doing so well up until last week <clears throat> even through the whole sickness <clears throat> that i had a few weeks ago which again you know I found that the 2-3 days that I was really really sick and I was really really like bedridden I didn't get to like do my whole skincare routine I would maybe just go wash it with soap like nothing I was doing the bare minimum I found my skin to be thriving so that just put me on another tangent like is this a fucking scam that we need like all of these products when our skin just needs like soap or like bare minimum cleansing I don't know that was weird but anyway yeah my skin was doing really well through the sickness, through everything, it was doing really well. And I was really excited to show you guys my new and improved skin because I was taking care of it. But then last week I got sad and ate cake as I told you like multiple times in the in the video. And sugar is just... Fuck this shit man, I love sugar, I love junk, like... Okay. The water is heated up. That was my phone's way of telling me that. I will go and... And... This is what the color looks like in natural home setting. Like the tube light. I will obviously show you guys next what it looks like in the sun. But this is what the color looks like under the tube light. I think it's very very vibrant. It's obviously super patchy. I don't know if you guys can see it but... Yeah, I like it. I really like it. Jahan jahan I have patches because I am bad because I will retouch it again because I have a couple of tubes as I told you guys for this very purpose. Um, I really like it. Like even though I feel like this blue color is super common. I have been running away from this color for a while um, and I was originally intending to do like a full hair like a roots to tip blue hair color which I think would have been a little more unique than this style. But now that I have actually done it, I... 
really like it. I think it looks really good. I think I look really good. Um, I have done a decent job, you know, throughout the pandemic. If there's one thing I have learned and one thing that, you know, is good that's come out of it is that I have gotten closer and closer to actually dyeing my hair properly. That being said, let me take you to the balcony and let me show you what um, this hair color looks like in sunlight. I like you. I don't give a fuck about professional hairstylists. I think that's uh, how I'm feeling right now. That summarizes how I'm feeling right now. This is what the hair looks like in sunlight. Hello, 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 hello. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I know you did, so please smash that like button share this video with um, some of your friends who may be wanting to go blue or wanting to dye their hair or do it with your best friends tag me in pictures send it to streaks so that they can send me free products and uh, links to everything will be in the description if you have questions just leave it in the comment section if i'm in a good mood i will answer them if i'm not I will still answer them cause I love ya. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her.